Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Smith and I'm going to be going through a move called the Hawaiian Punch with you today. Uh, this is somewhat of a popular move. I've seen it performed at the World Drill Championship several times, as well as the National High School Drill Team Championships in the Solo Division. Uh, so essentially, if you're at port, first thing you're going to want to do is do a single spin and get to here. This is the starting position for the Hawaiian Punch. All right, so let me go through it full speed with you real quick. That's the entire move, just a couple seconds. Uh, again, so if you're at port and you do a single spin, you'll be at the starting position. Uh, so you can see that my hand is at the number two balance point, uh, the right hand, and the left hand is on the small of the stock. The rifle is upside down with the sling facing the sky. First thing you're gonna do is a C-set, and this right here is going to be the second position of this move. So you had the first position, second position, to get to the third position, you're basically just going to point the butt to your right. Now you can see that the rifle is parallel to the ground. It's running right behind my arm and the muzzle is right behind my shoulder. Now from here, you're essentially just going to rotate the rifle around so that the muzzle is right by your face. It's just completely upside down from where it was just a second ago. All right, so so far we've gone from here to here to here to here. The next two things are pretty simple. You just hand the small of the stock into your left, and then at the last second, you snap your right hand around from here to here, and try to bring it as close to the back of your head as possible while being safe. If you turn your head, it gets your head out of the way a little bit, and if you kind of hang your head down slightly from the side, you may be going down about this much. That gives you the couple inches of clearance that you need to make sure you don't smack yourself in the back of the head. Uh, luckily, um, I've never done it while performing this move, but I have been hit by the rifle a few times in the back of the head, uh, and this is one of the softest places to get hit by. So I recommend that you start uh, slow, work your way up in your speed and your sharpness. I know everyone wants to get as sharp and snappy as possible, but it's going to take some practice. If you need to run through it step by step like I did, very slow. That's the moving kind of slow motion and full speed again. See, it's easy to miss, uh, but as you can see, the way my left hand was, when I brought it around, instead of going into my head, because of how my hand is, it's kind of angled back towards the ground when I catch it. If I'm gonna miss, the rifle's going to slip off that way as long as my arm is there. So it's, it's not because of the way your arm is, the way your wrist is in the way. It's not usually going to come back towards your head at all as long as your left arm is there. From the side, this is what it looks like. From the other side. You see there's a few inches of clearance and from the rear. Now to get out of this move, um, to move on to the next thing, there's a few things you can do. You could just pull it around in front of you and you end up right back where you started. Or you can just let go of your left hand while doing a, an about face and it just kind of drops. And you can go into several different moves from that. Uh, really, the world is open wherever you choose to go. It's kind of awkward getting there, but it's okay. So again, if you want to do the about face and just flip it, you can end up right back at the starting position and then go into anything you want. And it's a really uh, beautiful move. I love it. You can add some flair if you want to. I've seen some competitor, one particular competitor in the past um, add a little bit of his own style by giving it the old flamingo leg, which I can appreciate uh, because everything that you do, you can make it your own. That's the best thing about drill. So thank you for watching.